so good to see you again. Now, in this tutorial, we are going to explore the power of Moodle for creating quizzes. Um, you will not believe it, but um, the quiz tool in Moodle allows to do all sorts of, you know, multiple choice questions that you can think of in uh, your exam. Right. Let's get to work now. Um, so this is topic one, right? And we are going to add some of the uh, quizzes. And let me tell you, it will take you a lot of time to prepare a quiz. So in this tutorial movie, I'm going to okay, do demonstration for several quizzes only, and then I will show you the different quizzes that. Moodle can create. Um, so we click on turn editing on. Now, then go to add activity. Okay, so so far you have learned to use database, forum. Okay, what else? Uh, workshop. Okay, just a few in a list. Now, to create a quiz, we click on quiz and then add quiz. And I name this quiz teaching reading quiz description. Um, now you have an opportunity to apply what you have learned about teaching reading. Okay, if you like, you can tick here to make the description show up on front page. Um, now, usually we can choose layout. Okay, if you want the question should be shuffle. Then, okay, choose this shuffle randomly. Each time the students click on the quiz, um, the order of the questions in in the test will be randomized. You can even shuffle choices within the question by, okay, clicking on question behavior, and you see a jungle of other choices. I have told you, you know, it takes me several years okay, using Moodle okay, to uh, understand all these settings. So I don't, okay, I don't want you to see all these things right now. Just leave them as they are and click save and return to the course. So you see a quiz, but it doesn't have any quizzes yet. See here, when I click it, it's still empty, right? You see no quiz. Um, so in order to in order to work with quiz, we need to create a question bank. Okay, put in some test item, and then okay, add those test item into your quiz. So I scroll down all the way down here to administration and then click on question bank. Now by default there is a category for EOT2. You can create a new category if you have a lot of questions. Now to make things simple, I just click on create a new question and you see here voila there are a lot of different question times and again I'm not going to show you all these question times I can only show you okay, one or two and then you need to explore the other basically they work on the same principle um, so first I create a multiple choice question so I click on add multiple choice so question name um, 
greeting uh, question one it should be multiple choice one why do I name it like this now when I look at the database and, and look at the question name I know that this is a question for reading lessons and this is a multiple choice questions because you know the topic like listening I may have two forms question I may have matching questions if I do not you know think up a convention for naming these questions then it will take me a lot of time later to search for the item that I want now then we can uh, create a question this is my questions what uh sorry we uh these questions provide a simple task for a difficult text like this one so i'm trying to okay make one like this right so i put in the choices Choice one is what are your reasons for liking or uh, this liking this movie and choice two would you like to see this movie and choice three uh, what is the author's opinion of the movie so I have three choices for these questions uh, now if you want to create multiple choice questions with multiple answers then it is possible to set it here too. In this case we need only one answer and choices should be A, B, C. Right? Now um, we need to okay, decide what is, okay, to decide from Moodle okay, what is the correct choice. So choice number two is, is my answer so I click here okay. For 100%. What does it mean? When students select a choice, they get 100% of the score for for the, the, the test item. Right. Um, multiple entries. Okay. We do not need to care about these settings right now. Um, the beauty of uh, this system is that it allows you to add videos right under the questions, sounds, so you can add videos, sounds, images, and this is great. So this is the text. Um, this is the text. Okay, it's, it's an image. So we need to insert this image okay, into the questions. That's very easy. Um, just go to yeah, click here, image, and then I click on browse repositories, a text file, and go to features. Yeah, this is the one. I upload the file. What I hate about this is that I have to type in even it. I do not want it to. I just put it out of sight. Okay, description not necessary. Mm, come on. Okay, it's on. Save. Okay. Now I click on save, change it. 
and now in my question bank I can see okay, an item reading MC1 like this right um, let's create another so I click on create a question and this time we want to create a true false where is it true false okay it's here true false so yeah click on true false questions and then question name I name it reading true false see okay so this is Question number two, two forms for teaching reading lesson. Uh, tie in my question here. Reading tasks should be done in the order of first general and then specific. Understanding. Now it is true or false. Yeah. So the correct answer for this right, is true. Yeah. Reading really task to be done in the order of general first and then specifically understand later. So it is true. Yeah. So that's it. You can also provide okay, feedback. Okay, for example, if students say true, then you can say uh, very good. We always have our students to understand the general uh, idea, sorry. Other reading text first. Right, so this is the response for the correct answers. Uh, for the wrong answer, I say, are you sure? We always have our students to understand the general idea of the reading text first. Uh, and I click on say now in the question bank I see another question and, and you see okay, the symbol for true fonts and this is the symbol for multiple choice yeah so you can you can keep creating many other questions like this and put them into the category that you want um, when I am Okay, finished. I can click on yeah these item and move to okay teaching reading quiz. Okay, so to assign questions from the question bank to the quiz that we have created. We just go to question bank, click here, question bank, <coughs> and then select okay, the quizzes that we want, and then move it to the quiz, teaching reading quiz. So I move these two questions into this quiz. Right, so you can see teaching reading quiz now have two test items. When I um when I go back to the website and then click on teaching reading quiz, we say attend the quiz now. Uh, 
and and I'm able to do the quiz that I have uh, created. Okay, so if you spend time working on the quiz, you will be able to create something like this. Okay, in this reading quiz of my course, you see there are, there are quizzes in which we have okay, multiple yes no in one question. We can have a uh, drop box like this one we can have okay again let me go to this one to see okay this is a typical multiple choice question where you see the question and the choices and we can see um, Yeah, questions with um, images. We can we can also create um, we can also create listening tests using the quiz model. Let me show you a sample quiz. Okay, now this is a TOEIC listening test that we created using the quiz model. As you see, okay, we type in the question text here, images here, choices here, and then student only need to click on the link to hear the first. All right, so that's it. I hope you are okay with the quiz module. Um, so we have by now know some of the basic tools, some of the basic activities that you can create in Moodle, and I have uh, show you how we can lay out the various resources uh, in a uh, 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 lesson. Uh, design on Moodle platform. So thank you very much for your attention and uh, have a good day. Goodbye.